Hey, thanks for checking out this video. We've tried a wood burning fire pit, the Kuzum. Did a video on that. We like it a lot. But we've got a new fire pit that we like even more. So let's dive in and check it out. Hey, I'm Scott. And I'm Sherry. And we are the, the coolest, coolest campers, campers ever. ever. Thanks for checking out this video. We're gonna dive into this Outland Living Fire Bowl 883 that I found, you guessed it, on Facebook Marketplace for a deal. On sale. <laughs> <laughs> like way on sale, because this thing on Amazon just now I checked, it's 215 bucks for this Fire Bowl. We got it with the hose. It's about a 10 foot hose, goes over the propane tank. I paid, drum roll please, $30, thank you. <laughs> Boom. Because Scott loves him a good deal. But in this particular case, we are loving this. Um, you'll see I'm holding this random rock. It essentially looks like, it is a rock, but they're so light. like. It's not like just a bowl of heavy rocks. It's not that it doesn't have some substance to it, because it does, but they're almost, they're not charcoal briquettes. They're somewhere they're between. They're lava, that's what they say. The, inst the instructions say it's lava rock. It's lava super rock. super light, I so mean. So it's, it's a really light, you know, feels like almost kind of chalky sort of yeah. texture to it. And that's what comes with it. And they can stay right there in the bowl when you load it up, it has a bag that comes with it that... Well, actually, the bag I bought separate. <laughs> I bought the bag on Amazon. We'll link to that in the description. I paid $30 for the bag, actually 27 or something. But so I'm all in with this thing for 60 bucks total. Came with the rock, came with the hose. We're good. Um, and the lava rocks, um, it has different sizes. So you put the smaller ones at the bottom the medium ones on next, and then you put these bigger ones kind of on top around the circle where the uh, propane comes through. Basically like a propane fire pit. That's right. what it is. Thing about it is just how simple it is to use, to light. We love having a fire in the evening, but when we're working with the wood and trying to get a fire going, keep a fire going, figure out which way the wind is blowing so you're not getting smoke in your face all the time. There's just logistics to it that sometimes you end up not making a fire because it was just kind of a hassle to do so. This yep. takes that right out of there. So simple to start and you can just always have a fire at night um, to just enjoy for the heat, enjoy for just sitting the around ambiance. having social yeah. time and then uh, like everybody else, man, you got to make some s'mores, right? But first, let's go ahead and light this <laughs> thing up, okay? So, like Sherry said, the biggest thing we like about it is the instant on, instant off. We don't have to worry about getting a start fire started, wondering how long it's going to last. Are you putting too much wood on? Is it going to last when you're ready to go to bed? We came home last night at like 1 in, one the, morning, in the morning, <laughs> and we wanted a fire and this. Boom. Hey, it's late. We don't want to start a fire, but boom. <laughs> now we got one. Seriously, this is why we love this thing. Now, uh, we talked about the lava rocks. I did read in some of the reviews that these rocks will get black. I don't know why that is, but these bigger rocks that are right around the ring uh, seem to be getting black and they kind of have charcoal if you pick them up and, you know, not a big deal. The fire works fine. It's not yeah. like it affects anything, but you noticed I used a Bic lighter for this. It does not come with an ignition source. Those are kind of tongue twisters. <laughs> Basically, you have to light it externally. So I can see the ring, the propane ring in there. I put this Bic lighter right down there before I turn it on. Now, uh, you can hear the propane coming through this thing. So if you hear the propane coming through and it's not lit, either get it lit soon or stop. Because I've uh, lighted it before, lit it, loot it, lot it. I, I lit this thing up. It was lit. 
This is it a lit, lit fireplace. It was lit. The fire was lit. <laughs> anyway, in and every I, way. I could hear the propane coming out and the Bic lighter went out and I had tried to do it again and it kind of, the propane kind of collected in there. It kind of gave a little, whew, didn't blow any rocks anywhere, but basically just like lighting any propane source, if you can hear the propane coming through it, get it lit at that time. Yeah, because it's going to collect too much <clears throat> propane otherwise, but yeah. Perfect size, like, you know, not too big and bulky so that you can't, you know, pack it up and bring it with you wherever you want to go and super easy to light. And now we have a fire for the yep. evening. Now this is on high and turn the dial about a quarter of a, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's on low. So that's kind of a nice little ambient fire if you want that and you can dial it back up to wherever you want. That's probably about middle and then that's full blast. Pretty oh, Sherry, <laughs> do, you, do you have a hack for us? I do, I do, but we gotta get some marshmallows going here. Got these fun little marshmallow roasting sticks that I got, I won at like a, in a raffle basket <laughs> randomly and didn't use for like four years or however long until we started doing this camping stuff. I guess we did use these one time at our like outdoor fire pit, like at home. Yep. An outdoor propane fire An pit. An outdoor propane fire pit. <laughs> Obviously that's kind of a thing, right? Campfire s'mores, we all, it's, everybody knows how to do that. No special thing about that, except that in all of our random camping journeys that we're having, we're collecting tips from other people the same way that we like to share them for you. And one of the tips that I heard is that far easier and actually tastier than bringing graham crackers and chocolate and whoops, here we go, hang on. Uh, you know, doing all of that to make your s'mores, it all comes together in this lovely, uh, what is it? It's uh, a Keebler fudge stripe cookie. Keebler fudge stripe with the chocolate on the back and the stripes on the front. And no lie, like you put a marshmallow on one of those, you take a second cookie, you can slide that right off of there. Now. And this is a serious s'more and it's like just the right amount of chocolate. The cookier is tastier than standard graham crackers. The cookier is tastier, I like that. Did I say cookier? You did, okay. but that's well, good. Well, that's on film. Um, the cookie is tastier. <laughs> Um, perfect amount of chocolate, obviously the marshmallow, and 10 out of 10 recommend. Like, way better than your average s'mores. So if you haven't tried this, do it. If you have, then you're probably just rolling your eyes at me like, duh, Sherry, everyone knew that. I didn't know, so I'm sharing with you just in case you didn't know either. This is infinitely better than regular s'mores. Although, I will say, we're using these square marshmallows that kind of fit in this two prong marshmallow holder really well, but it makes for a lot of marshmallow in that cookie. But we talked about this earlier. That's not a bad Everyone's thing. Everyone's a critic. No, not a <laughs> critic. Although I will say now that I see how you smashed your marshmallow between the cookies. Now I know why there's marshmallow sticky on this table. Figured that one out. Oh, I think I, think I hear mine ready. So I take one for the team. <laughs> Here's what I'm doing. I put mine on top and one on bottom, see? Oh, look at that goodness right there. Okay, hold on a second. I'm not gonna be able to pick up the camera, so. <laughs> look at that, that right there is goodness. <laughs> nice melted marshmallow. Now I need anyway. a drink. I should have gotten something to drink before we started this, but anyway, video is about the fire pit. I personally cannot recommend it more. Like we absolutely love this thing. So easy to just get started and you can just immediately plop down in your chairs, grab a drink, some s'mores, whatever, a blanket if it's chilly outside, whatever, but it just makes the perfect 
evening hangout spot at our campsite. You got a little marshmallow on your lip there. I don't, I'm sure. You do, but that's okay. No, oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're not eating it right if you don't have marshmallow on your lips <laughs> when you're doing s'mores at the campfire. So We're going to complain about having like marshmallow all over your face, and then maybe s'mores aren't for you. <laughs> and chocolate all over your fingers. Yeah. So anyway, love the fire pit. Love the Keebler fudge stripe. Uh, cookies for s'mores. Love my little camping partner over here with marshmallow on his face. Mm. <laughs> mm. Gonna start being too dark here for video time, so we'll probably sign off. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll put the links to the products uh, in the description below. But thanks for coming along for an evening of. <clears throat> lovely just fire pit in the state park and that was very nice of you to, to, to draw that out long enough so i could finish eating and say like and subscribe again <laughs> give it a big thumbs up if you like this video Perfect. let us know if you have this fire pit or another one again this is outdoor living fireball 883 i think this is one of the bigger ones they have i think they have a smaller one and different but we love this one if you find one on marketplace for 30 bucks and it works <laughs> snag that puppy because we're totally happy with it get that thing as quickly as you can All anyway right. thanks for hanging out with us let's go camping see ya